looks well, but doesn't look something like pleasing. So I can add on some things. It took just 20 minutes for Patricia Nabasumba to make this handbag. It has taken the senior three student at Riverside High School less than a month to get this skill. From school, Nabasumba takes the initiative to impart this skill to her parents and siblings. I trained my sister and I know now, when I go back now, I know she's somewhere because I left home when I've trained her some steps. I can buy easy materials that I need in, as, in my personal life, like Vaseline. The learners exhibited different skills in making decorations, shoes, soap, paintings and tailoring. This one is for 20,000 shillings only. I can make it alone. Parents testified that the skills the learners get are replicated at home. We've learned how to make cakes. We bake cakes now in our homes, which have helped us to improve our income. And also they make uh, liquid soap. We've learned to make liquid soap ourselves. And me, I've taken it further to go to making bus soap. But basing on that technology and that skill that we, they got from the school. The schools under the School for Life Foundation have made it a must for each learner to acquire a vocational skill. According to Brenda Namulinda, the country director of Schools for Life Foundation, the target is to train and equip over 1,300 children with vocational skills every three years. Namulinda explains that the schools have been able to embed hands-on skills into the syllabus to also give a chance to those who may have problems with their academic journey. We want to ensure that 85% of the children have acquired at least one value-added skill by the time they complete their education cycle. However, I want to, to, to report that already we have surpassed our target. The teachers have not been left behind. Our teachers have been undergoing an intense capacity building through our partners uh, Red Earth Education that has been training more on instructional planning and most of this is to, uh, to ensure that these teachers are able to support their children in this journey that they are taking. The State Minister for Primary Education, Joyce Moriku Kaduchu, who was represented by Safina Mutumba, a Commissioner for Nursery and Primary Education, appreciated this move as it complements the Ministry of Education's program. Allow me to inform you that after introducing the skills development at lower primary, at Senior 3, these students will be receiving certificates to qualify them as professionals in skills development. Patrick Senyondo, NTV.